hi curly fries welcome back to my channel today we are going to be working on rapunzel's tower she is over in the forest of valor as you can see i put her down some items that i thought i wanted around her build um, so i kind of have a painting station for her and the other thing i wanted was a bookshelf slash reading station um, I did have to custom make this chair and this rug for her as I didn't find anything else that matched. I decided to use the fir and the birch trees around her house because they give the foresty vibe and they also give different colors of green for the area. I do move all of these items around a lot. I couldn't find out which place exactly I wanted them to be. So you'll see me move the painting station and the library area quite a bit. The color scheme that I was going for for her tower were purple and pink and yellow. As you can see, I've dropped some of those purple flowers on the left side and I am going to be dropping more flowers a little later. I decided to move my dream light tree over here because it gives off these fairy lights and I really liked that effect for her area. The leaves of the dreamlight tree also kind of matched the leaves of the birch tree, so I thought it would fit in really well. At this point, I'm kind of realizing how small her tower actually is. Um, I had a lot of space around her tower, so I had to fill it in with rocks and trees and bushes and flowers and everything like that to try to make the space more full. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I hope that you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for future uploads. I will be trying to post twice a week, and I also try to stream on YouTube at least once a week in the future. Thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe. For this path, I went with the leaf path and the rocks surrounded it. I used the Forest of Valor rocks. Um, so this is very tedious placement of these rocks and <laughs> it took me a while. So as you'll see, I take some breaks in between doing each section of the path.
Right now, I am going to fill in the grassy natural areas from front to back and also place the purple flowers that I laid out for this build. I go back and forth with the placement of the different natural items because I knew I wanted my thumbnail to be in this position so i wanted it to look pretty good and also when i'm running up from the plaza i wanted to be able to see the tower on the right Right now I am placing the luminescent flowers from Eternity Isle. I couldn't find my pink ones at this point so I was using the blue and green ones which does not match my color theme but you will see later that I changed them all to pink. The path that you are seeing right now, I got from Horrible Gaming in her Rapunzel build. Um, that was the only path I could think of at the time, but as you will see later, I do change this. But if you want to check out her channel, I will link her below. Here I used the mysterious flowers from Eternity Isle. I did find out that I had to drop them all individually, otherwise they dropped as a group. So that which, that's what you'll see me doing right here. I do have eight of them. I dropped two of them at this time, but I'll drop more later. I've seen a lot of people don't like these flowers because of the glow they give when you walk past them but I think they are perfect for Rapunzel, so I use them throughout her path. here I wanted to make sure that we could connect the path to the other side of the forest of valor so here I am connecting to the bridge I have no idea where I'm gonna put Vanellope's house this is just where I put it to go through her friendship quest so it will move later
If you guys are not aware, I do stream on Twitch Thursday through Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time. The link will be in the description below if you're interested. As always, I wanted to make sure I can reach this mining spot by the tower, so I made a little pathway to remind me where it is. Here you'll see me dropping the rest of the mysterious flowers and placing them along the path. I switched to nighttime here so I can look at how the melted candles and the luminescent flowers look throughout the natural areas and I placed them in the correct positioning that I wanted them in. Here I finally found my pink luminescent flowers so I dropped all of those and replaced the blue and green ones.
Once my main bill was done, I started working on the other natural areas and making sure I can get to all of my resources. I started filling in the rest of the background of the tower with beach grass so I can try to get the overgrown look that I was going for. I also used more trees, bushes, and ferns to try to help fill in the areas. This is the next day on this build. It did take me about two days to finish this just because I had other things going on. I decided to change the path from the leaf path to the natural rock path. I thought it would give Rapunzel a more elevated look. I also decided that I wanted these natural areas to be more circular. So this is me fixing the path and the natural area to fit the design that I wanted. It was kind of hard for me to get these rocks to go in a circle like I wanted. If you guys have any tips, please let me know in the comments.
I did not actually finish this path all around as I wasn't sure what I was going to put on the other side of this natural area. So I left it like that just in case I needed to change it. Once I finished one circle, I decided to torture myself and do the other circle. So this is what I'm starting now. I couldn't decide how I wanted the path to connect because I still wanted to put her painting area here. So this is just me trying to figure that out. As we are reaching the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope I could bring you some Disney Dreamlight Valley inspiration today. I have no idea what the name of these purple flowers are, but they have become my favorite flower to put in my overgrown builds. Um, I'm just putting in some finishing touches and that is it.
don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for future speed builds. That is it for today, and I hope to see you on the next video.